Okay, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So let me just say that this is a different type of video that I am doing here today. This is a response video. Yes, a response video to Blackness Everdeen. That video will be down in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out. I will not be responding to every single one of her questions. So you'll definitely have to go and check out that entire video. Again, that is down in the description box below. However, I wanted to do a response to her questions that she did because I feel that she is not the only person who is having some of these thoughts or even going through some of these things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, Miss Everdeen. So again, I will not be responding to every single one of them. I'll just be responding to the ones that stood out to me. So I will say that in the very beginning of your um, Q&A, there was a lot of fear that I heard. Now, of course, you didn't say this. These were not your words, but I heard that there was a lot of fear coming out of you where you're on the fence of getting back into the dating scene and you kind of like being on your own, but you want to be in the dating scene. And then I have to say that it's contradictory because I feel like you were already self-sabotaging yourself. Now, why am I saying that? It's because you were saying basically that you want to date some days, some days you don't want to date, you don't like the games that the guys play. Can I just tell you, honey, everybody's playing the game. Even you, Booski, you playing the game. <laughs> like, you don't want to play the game with the guys, but you just said that you and one of your friends is actually on this spree of dates because you said that you're going to get out and date this year. Well, what is the outcome that you're looking for? Are you just looking to say that I, I got out there and did it, I did some dating, or is it because you actually are truly seeking a relationship? Or maybe a friends with benefits situation. You also mentioned in there that your friends and family don't necessarily um, ask you about a boyfriend, but what they do is kind of throw a little bit of shade in there and they'll be like, well, I mean, you've been single for three years. So like, where's your man at? When you going to get somebody? And I feel you that you need that you need to live your life. I feel you a thousand percent on that. However, comma, <laughs> um, I also feel that there was some fear thrown in there and also again some self-sabotage the self-sabotage is coming from you yes you my sister my lovely beautiful sister blackness everdeen you were in there saying how um you don't think it's going to happen for you and so if you don't think that you're going to find the guy that's really right for you the guy that's going to treat you right the guy that's not going to play the games the guy that actually wants to settle down the guy that wants to treat you and your daughter beautifully the way that you need to be treated then it ain't gonna happen boo if you don't think it's gonna happen then why would the guy that's coming into your life think that it's gonna happen between you two because what you don't realize my sister is that you are giving off that negative energy whether you believe it or not it's something about your aura that is saying need to go in the opposite direction you are repelling the guys and you don't even realize that's what you're doing Booski. you are sending the repellent their way and they are not ducking and dodging it they are just letting it get sprayed all over them like some raid on a roach <laughs> yes raid on the roach Booski, and they are gone but it's that energy it's that aura that you putting out into the universe. You don't believe that it's going to happen. So guess what? It ain't happening. I know that we talked a little bit off of line about this, but I will say that even going back and forth, when I mentioned to you about think more positive, think more positive. And I know that it's not all about positivity and the guy has to absolutely show you and prove himself to you. I just did a video about why do guys feel that they have to prove themselves. That was on um, Sunday. April 1st actually so go ahead and look at that video if you have not seen that one as well so you can hear my answer but in the beginning the guy absolutely does have to prove himself and then later on you both have to continue to prove yourself to one another but in the beginning you are the chooser my sister and so if you continuously find that players are coming your way it's because that's what you secretly believe that you deserve 
Because players keep coming your way. Because that's the energy that you keep putting out there. That is what you expect to receive from the guys that are taking you out on these dates. You are expecting for them not to do the right thing. So they're not. And the right thing for you is different for everybody else. But they're not doing the right thing because you don't expect them to do the right thing. I literally was telling you to give yourself and put yourself out there and think more positively and it will be different. Well, my sister, I'm not telling you I'm not telling you to do something that I have not done myself. Have you written down your deal breakers list? I talk about that all the time on this channel. Have you absolutely sat down and said, you know what, this is what I am willing to deal with and this is what I'm not willing to deal with. This is the type of guy that I want in my life. And that is the energy that you start to put out there because what you focus on is what you will receive back. So if you are focusing on the players, guess what? Boo, you keep getting the players. If you are focusing on the guys that is um, playing the games, Guess what? You're going to continuously get back the game players. All of the stuff that you say that you don't want is what you will receive continuously. So again, think about what your end game is in this dating. Is it just to have dates? Is it to actually find somebody? And then you also mentioned in there that some days you want to be in a relationship and other days you don't. Boo, join the club. <laughs> Even for us in relationships, sometimes it's like, you know what? I probably could do better by myself. But then I think about the big picture. And I'm not just talking about other people. I'm talking about me, myself, and I. I am no different. I'm giving out the tips and tools, but I know myself sometimes I'm like, woo sigh. I have to remember that I have to be the bigger person. I'm the relationship guru, if you will right? He's not. We are still a work in progress. You ain't the only one that's going through some stuff, right? Relationships go up and down all the time. They are peaks and valleys in everybody's relationship. And so just because you don't want to be in a relationship some days and then other days you do, join the club, Booski. Join the club. But then I realize as a person in a relationship, it is absolutely well worth it. I want to take this journey with somebody. I want to spend the rest of my life with somebody in a healthy relationship. That does not mean that we're not going to disagree. That does not mean that he's not going to annoy the crap out of me. That does not mean that I'm not going to annoy the crap out of him. Because we are already two whole people. Notice I said whole. We are two whole people trying to come together and make this thing work. And then in my own personal relationship, we come from different cultures. So that is some struggle in our relationship too. Different cultures. Some of you guys might have um, paid attention and noticed, but I'm American. Black American, African American, whatever. But he's Nigerian. Different cultures altogether. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to get back to you, Booski. <laughs> I do have to throw in this side note because you mentioned this in yours too. And my, my dad actually handled me one day too. So before I met my fiance, many years before, I was just in a dating scene. Uh, again, got divorced. And then I was in the dating scene for 10 plus years, right? With that being said, why my dad had the nerve to basically ask me was I a lesbian too. So I really, really connected with you on that one. I was cracking up actually, especially when you looked at the camera and told your dad, uh, no, I still like boys or whatever. I just thought that was funny because in my head I was thinking, dad, you don't even not know about you and your daughter, okay? And, okay, I'm going to keep it clean. Vaginas is not for your daughter, okay? <laughs> Sis, Miss Blackness Everdeen, my beautiful dark-skinned sister with all that beautiful luscious hair and gorgeous daughter, you have to really think about what you want. You are single. I absolutely have to give you super props because you said that you took three years off because you needed to. Absolutely, 
absolutely, absolutely, I am adoring you for that. I am congratulating you for that because a lot of people jump from one relationship to the next. And you also mentioned that you're making sure that you are working on yourself. So again, congratulations on that because a lot of people do not take the time. Maybe you didn't necessarily need three years, but maybe you did. You said that you were also that you also got hurt in your last relationship. So did you did you deal with that baggage? Have you literally dealt with that baggage? Have you literally said, you know what, I forgive you? And that doesn't mean that you had to specifically talk to the guy. But did you really, really, really forgive the person so you can move on? Or are you still in that stronghold that he had over you? It doesn't sound like you are, but then a little bit it does. So I want you to think about all of these things. Absolutely. I do congratulate you on some of the things, but a lot of what you were saying, I heard fear. Fear because you like to be in control. And that is just not possible in a relationship, Booski. You have to let it go. You have to let it flow. Of course, I did a video on fear not too long ago. Absolutely check that out too. Or actually, is it releasing? No, that's releasing um, Friday. I didn't release it yet. It's releasing Friday, that fear video. But depending on the time that you watch this, maybe it will be released by the time that you watch this. But if you are a subscriber already, then that video has not been released, but it will be Friday's video. Honey, I applaud you in some areas, but I want you to tighten up in others. I do appreciate you doing this collaboration with me and putting yourself out there because this is a brave thing to do. You are awesome. I love your craziness and your personality on your channel. If you guys follow the Real Housewives of Atlanta and just want some laughs, some pureness, some realness, she's on a weight loss journey as well. She's on a journey of loving herself. Blackness Everdeen, you are the MVP, okay? I truly am happy for you for getting on this journey and like I said, putting yourself out there, um, especially for the world to see. You guys absolutely check out her actual Q&A um, video that is down in the description box below. If you love to see videos like this or if you want me to respond to any of your videos, of course, we can have a discussion via my Gmail. Send me that information and my information is down in the description box below. Finally, when you're looking in the description box below, check out my online courses. They will absolutely give you everything that you need, whether you are single, trying to work on yourself like Miss Blackness Everdeen, or you are in the dating stages, or you are in a long-term relationship. Each one of them will absolutely help you out whichever stage you are in in your relationship. I will see you again Friday, releasing of the fear video. We all need to hear about this one. So I'll see you then.